Alexander Volkanovsky versus Ilya Toporio. Who's going to win this fight? Well, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Alexander Volkanovsky fought Gary Rodriguez, in which Alexander in this fight had great takedowns, great ground control, and TKO Rodriguez in round three. <laughs> That thing is he wanted to fight Islam Makhachev for a second time in which he got knocked out in round one. Position. Now let's take a look at Ilya Topoya's latest performances in which he fought Bryce Mitchell in which both did great in round one until round two came in which Ilya Topoya dropped Bryce Mitchell and got him in an arm triangle choke and Bryce Mitchell tapped in round two. Oh, like an oh arm my triangle. goodness, look yeah. at this. Look at this. Oh, that's right. At this, he went on to fight Josh Emmett, in which he dropped him in round two. Beat up. Oh, oh, heavy. Then dropped him in round four twice. And obviously, I don't even have to say this, Ilya Topoya won by decision. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Ilya. Now, let me go over some background info involving Alexander Volkanovsky. For those who are doubting him due to all the hype around Ilya Toporio, Alexander Volkanovsky has dominated the whole featherweight division as he has beaten Max Holloway three times, all being title fights in Max Holloway's rank number one in that weight division. And then he also beat Brian Ortega, who's rank number four in that weight division. And after his first loss to Islam Makhachev, he knocked out Raheel Rodriguez, who's rank number two in that weight division. So when I say he has dominated the whole featherweight division, it's because he has, which is why it made sense for him to try to challenge himself and fight Islam Makhachev. Now, I can guarantee you that the main reason why I'm people are favoring Ilya Toporia is because not only is he a very good fighter in almost all aspects but it's his power and his style of fighting that makes people believe that he might be able to beat Alexander Volkanovsky which to be honest you can't really hate the idea of him doing the impossible and becoming champion because he is one tough fighter with a lot of grit but at the same time with all this tough guy hype there are some doubts and that is that most people will say that he hasn't fought any good fighter and lacks high level experience so in the end most people underestimating Alexander Volkanovsky only because he lost to a very close fight the first time against Islam Makhachev and then got knocked out the second time when it was on a 10 day notice yes they are but at the same time i would like to see ilitoporia put the upset and do what most aren't ready to see